With the Malaysian sermons in the books, the HSBC Asian 7 Series moved to Thailand for the second of four legs. The event kicked off in Bangkok with a press conference and draw. In addition to 16 men's teams, Thailand would also be hosting 12 women's teams, making the Thailand Sevens the largest ever event on the series. รู้สึกตื่นเต้นนะครับเพราะว่ามันเป็นรายการที่จัดที่บ้านเราด้วยเหมือนเรารับแบกภาระเราก็อยากเล่นเต็มที่ที่สุดเพื่อให้กองเช
Kazakhstan then faced Sri Lanka, but the group's top seeds were too skilled and too fast for Kazakhstan, running out 26-5 winners. Chinese Taipei found their form in the group's final match, but Dushmantha Harash's last-minute try gave Sri Lanka the win. In 2012, Chinese Taipei had two third-place finishes from three events, but in 2013, they have now twice failed to earn a place in the quarters. The hosts walked away with played honours in Malaysia, and in their Group C match, they had little trouble with a UAE side that has chosen to go the development route for 2013. Korea finished in third place in the series opener, and they were looking very dangerous here with a dismantling of Malaysia in the group decider. The UAE have turned over the squad to local development players, and while the results have been difficult, the side has no doubt benefited from the experience thus far. The hosts had an incredibly unlucky draw last week in Bangkok and a quarter-final spot relied on a win over last year's fourth-place finishers, China. Thailand proved up to the task, scratching out a difficult 12-5 win to move on. In the Group D decider, Hong Kong, still reeling from a last-minute defeat in the Malaysia Sevens final, was just too much for Thailand and ran out easy 33-7 winners. With the group stages complete, we're gonna take a short break. Stay with us for more action from the Thailand Sevens when we return. Welcome back to lovely Bang Sen. This beachside resort town and a nearby IPE stadium in Chomburi hosted 28 men's and women's teams from around the region. For the men, the ramifications of this and the final two legs of the HSBC Asian 7 Series are clear. The IRB have confirmed that the top two men's teams after the four legs of the Asian 7 Series will have the right to play in the World 7 Series core team qualifier at our own Hong Kong 7s. Following the group stages, the top half of the 16 team draw looked like this. First up was Japan and Malaysia. So Japan with a nice formation. They've got some numbers here. If they can just push it through, they get it out wide. This is Lemeki, who's caused a lot of trouble with his footwork. He just glides and steps and then puts on the accelerator for the first try of the cup quarterfinal. Lamano Lemeki. This time it's a Suzuki. A nice little double round from Sakai. Out wide it's Ito. Malaysia tardy in getting back and men on the ground, so there'll be an advantage here. Henry and Lemeki again. And as soon as he gets a couple of meters of space, it doesn't take much for him just to... It seems just so easy for him, Lameki, in the second try of the match. Sakai with a lovely weighted kick. He's aware of the wind. And Lameki this time gives the ball away to his mate Henry, who <laughs> gives it back to Lameki. It's really the Lamano Lameki show at the moment. Four tries. He's always going at one at a minute. It's always the first game, so it's going to be tough. So we just try to go out there and we worked on a few things yesterday, so just try to go in from there. Next up with the hosts versus Sri Lanka. Well, Susanta, he's very strong. He's a very strong physical player. And he just handed off Apichai there. 
What a great individual try. Just sort of a bit of a show and a shimmy and a nice handoff along the way as well. So, yeah, that's a great start for uh, Sri Lanka once they finally got ball in hand. Punyavi. Round he goes. He might have missed that tackle before, but he's uh, hot to trot with the ball in hand. Here's Kumquat, the captain. Oh, he can't get rid of all. Can he? He just slipped the tackle and eventually of Surya. So we have a little knock-on advantage there. So Santa does well to get back as well, the try scorer. And here he is, featuring again Marija Herat, who's the spinster. Can he get round Punyavi? Oh, he can, with ease. Again, Punyavi is bumped off in the tackle. Probably should go a little lower. So Herat, the sprinter, the man who can run under 11 seconds for the 100. Away he goes. I think uh, our expectation is to come top three uh, for the first time in Sri Lanka, so it's, it's a challenge for us. Hong Kong was up next against an improving Kazakhstan. <laughs> Quick tap here from Alex McQueen, and he might be a scrum half, but boy, he's got some searing pace, Alex McQueen. So first try of the game to Hong Kong. Alex McQueen gets a call from the right, gives it to Morrison, who exposed his ribs for a while. Went backwards, says the referee, Hood. It's a long Hail Mary out to Tom. And Tom McQueen steps inside and goes over for his fifth try of the tournament. I think uh, he got four against China yesterday. Hood. To Varty. Here's Tom McQueen with another chance to show his stepping game, and around the outside he goes of Konev. Inside swerve. Will he give the ball away? No. Varty's on his shoulder. No need for him. So Tom McQueen showing some good pace there. Kazakhstan are always tough, physical, physical team to play against, but. Uh, yeah, the boys responded really well, first game up on day two, and uh, we came through with a win. Finally, it was Korea and the Philippines rounding out the quarter-final matchups. Cho on the outside, steps inside, in fact. Gets it to Yun, the captain, Yun Tae-il. Makes a couple of yards. Here's Kang, who gets planted. Good tackle there from Hitch. He really does throw his body around, but he's penalised for not releasing the ball carrier. And he's pretty much on his feet by that stage. Kang. Oh, that's a good little run from Kang Jung Gu. Bamboozled the defence and through he went for the opening try. First blood to Korea. Yeah, pretty basic stuff. Shallow in goal area here. Korea, in fact, turned this ball over, but it's Hitch who sniffs the chance. Oh, they can't control the ball though, but it's gone backwards. Here's Cho and Su. He's gone through a oh, lovely little dribble. Did he get downward pressure? Yes, the in goal referee says yes, he does. So Cho and Su with his fourth try of the tournament. Injured on the flank here, Jong Wun Yu, who really doesn't want the ball to come out on the Philippines left here. He's struggling, he won't want to take on Lynch. <laughs> oh Sung Jong with a very hopeful looking kick there. So it's Jake Letts. There's loads of space here if Letts let's fly. What's happening? Korea just walking. Oh, what's happened there? He's just letting them run in for a try. Well, that's quite bizarre. Must have got the word that it's the end of the game, perhaps. Uh, Philippines, 저는 어, 오전 게임이니까 저희가 오후에 항상 컨디션을 맞춰왔는데 어, 필리핀 게임을 어제부터 이제 미팅을 통해서 분석한 결과 어, 디펜스에 조금 더 중점을 둬서 몸싸움에서 좀더 강하게 하자고 했던 게. So the semis lined up this way, but when we return, we'll take a look at the women's competition. Here at the Thailand Sevens, don't go away. The Thailand Sevens also hosted the first of two legs on the HSBC Asian Women's Seven Series. For the women, the series is one stage in the process that will lead to potential qualification on the IRB Women's World Series. 
And after a day and a half of action, the last three matches shaped up this way. Singapore has put the girl chip through over the top. Not too sure if that's the right option to name. In seventh position is very vital, and that probably wasn't oh, the best. Good work decision. over the ball there. Uh, Lost her feet though. Oh, it looks oh. like the first try coming up. And we have, and it's number five, and it's here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sri Lanka feeds, Sri Lanka wins, taking out the ball out wide. Oh, nice shimmy and a dummy. Oh, what a great glide. He's got the wheels. He's yes. going outside. Number nine in Sri Lanka. He's got the wheels. Maduma. Oh, oh it's got to go with the way out. Put your book rugby, ladies and gentlemen. Well yeah. done. We played together and we have good encourage uh, and our coach gave good uh, advice and say, he told to us uh, we want to be a trouble team. Every time we trouble to others team, uh, that's the reason our win. So while Sri Lanka celebrated a top five finish in the first women's event of the series, Hong Kong and Kazakhstan squared off in the battle for third place. Both teams have just been very patient with the ball in hand. Oh, and too much pace on the outside, mate. Th this is what Hong Kong has won in all day. Beautiful. Fabulous to die. And that's how easy it gets when you've got good pace on the outside. Well, that's a fair decision to go down the park because that's always good to pin the opposition back and get your line up and have a good D. The defense is so important. Kazakhstan under a lot of pressure. Oh. oh, turnover. It's going to go in. Oh. Try time. I think a great, great ploy. Kick long, put a lot of pressure on the Kazakhstan. Still not consolidate. I think maybe a panic a little bit. And Hong Kong just put too much pressure on inside the goal. We were fourth in Asia, and now we came to third. Uh, we are quite happy about the result, but we are looking forward to another, uh, the second series. Ho hopefully, we can get better. After narrowly missing out on a spot in the final, Hong Kong claimed medals as third place winners. That left Japan and China to battle it out for the cup. Inside the 22, Japan now, China playing well. Impressive. Yeah. Oh, where's that ball gone? Well, it could bounce favorably here. Zhou takes it away. Referee decides to play on, and Zhou will go into the end zone. First try, first blood of this match to China. Can he play from her too, taking the ball in under the sticks? It's Suzuki who makes a bit for the line. Oh, they ignore the women on the left, go to the right. Probably the right decision because number 12 is there, and that's Yamaguchi. Referee asking the question and awards the try to Yamaguchi. Joel, who throws a sloppy pass. The Chinese pass is leaving a bit to be desired. Bit of work off the ball there from Yu, taking out one of the Japanese attacking players. Now, referee just asking the Chinese players to get back. He's awarded quite a few penalties, a clutch of penalties in the first few minutes. Wouldn't be surprised me if he brandishes a yellow card shortly. Well, yeah, they've got to be very careful and. Um they can't keep continuing this, and they're especially inside their 22. And oh, Okuroda! Oh, might be held out. To oh, get it. it's got pressure. Yeah, yeah. No, there was a blade of grass touch there. I think Okuroda, not initially, but uh, she just pushed her arms down and got the touchdown. So this could be the defining moment of the game. Xiao Xiao goes herself. Oh, she's a good little runner, determined, isn't she? Oh, she's still going. Oh, and she could be the heroine of this game. She's going to go all the way. Well done, and she really looks like a leader of the team. Yu Xiao Xiao with a great run, started slowly, got her legs working through the first line of defence, and away she flew. Uh, I think we a with narrow wins over Hong Kong and Japan in the semis and final respectively, China departed Thailand with the cup and maximum points in the race for a shot at World Tour qualification. When we come back, 
Men's semi-final action from the Thailand Sevens. Don't go away. Welcome back to the IPE Stadium on the campus of the Institute of Physical Education in Chonburi. As the second event on the HSBC Asian 7 Series nears its conclusion, it's becoming clear which teams make up the top four in the region. For the second tournament running, Sri Lanka and Korea will attempt to knock off last year's top two finishers and earn spots in the cup final. So Japan start us off in blue. Here's Harada. Oh, and straight away, he's broken around the outside. Interesting. Scored two tries early on yesterday. And there's Tukiri, who goes over, crashes and smashes his body over for an opening try. Yes, I noticed as the teams ran out, Harada, who I thought must have had an injury, he had scored two tries against Singapore in the first uh, game yesterday. Lameki, who's always dangerous with the ball in hand. Oh, look at that, the way he just steps around people so nonchalantly. Even gives Surya a merry dance as he strolls his way through for Japan's second try. Lameki, what a star he is. Harada again. He commits two defenders and who's running on his shoulder? It's Takeri again, the benefactor of his jinky running. A lineup outside here again for Japan. Sakai again ignores Ito, goes himself and just slips the ball to Lameki. And Lameki, that's his 10th try of the tournament. Five meters out this time, Japan. Huge pass out to Harada. Lameki, who gives the ball to Takeri. Just putting a little bit of doubt in the Sri Lankan defenders and uh, what a cakewalk. This game has been so far for the Japanese, 29 nil, just before half time. Here's Saria, but again, some brilliant defense. He's trying to stay in the field of play to avoid the five meter scrum, and he's done that. So they hack it downfield through the boot of uh, Herat. Herat gives a good push in the back, and he'll be yellow carded for that, I'm sure. No, just a penalty, all right. Yeah, a bit of frustrating, frustration creeping into there, Mike. Yep. And the Japanese again, as easy as you like, just beating the man with the ball. This time it's Ito. Four on two here for Japan, Henry to Matsunobu, who draws the player and passes to Ozawa. And Ozawa gets his second try of the tournament. Scored against Malaysia from Toyota Verblitz. No place for Herat to go. Again, it's just a relieving kick that uh, Harada will gobble up. Watch the dancing feet and the pink boots. As easy as you like, just like that. <laughs> nice cut back on the, off the left foot. And through he goes. Well, who would believe in the wildest dreams that Sri Lanka would get a toasting like this? 50 points to nil already. They're just seconds on the clock. Well, here's a good run from Patirana, who's almost got his way there. Has he got the ball down? Yes, he has. Well, the in-goal judge has given the thumbs up on that one, I think. Toby just wants to check with the assistant referees. Given the try to Patirana, the 21-year-old, and showed some good pace too. It's always good to start off well from the first game and just build. Uh, we've still got a big task in front of us. Uh, whoever's in the final, but you know, whoever makes it will be deserved of making it, and we'll just leave it for the last 20 minutes. In the second semi, Hong Kong was looking for a win and a chance to avenge their late loss to Japan in the Malaysia Sevens final. Shouldn't the first offence be lying on the ball if you're the tackler as Tom McQueen goes away? The first try of the game for McQueen. 
and his uh, seventh of the tournament. Goes short, driving towards the line here, Hong Kong. Good tight rugby. And he's oh, given the try too. We'll see who Nick Hewson. Nick Hewson, the muscles from Waikato again. Go over. The bells are ringing in the Mulu land there, Mike. <laughs> Vati, Houston again, who's driven back this time, made himself a target for the Korean forwards after those couple of impressive runs. Here he is again, though. Indif Got to go wide here. Uh, Amac oh. thinks differently. <laughs> Alex McQueen, good, good strut through there, the defensive line. Kim Jong Min is held on the ground and was under a lot of pressure to release that ball. Numbers here for Korea, though, if they could just get it out. Nice ball and all tackle from Vati. Great spot tackle. Yes, and you come Shing. Well, let's see the pace on this guy. He's up against uh, you. We managed to track him down. Rimini, oh, beautiful. Plucked the ball on his fingertips. And now it's his turn to show some pace. Rimini. And Jong just herds him to the side of the post for a try. Rimini takes it to 22-0. Smashed in the tackle by Rafe Morrison. He's a physical player. Once he fills out, he's going to be quite scary. Oh, lovely pass. Oh, and Remini on hand. Ground, Remini. So Remini gets his second try of the game. Obviously a difficult test. Every time you play Japan, you know what you're going to get. It's going to be hard rugby. Um, but hopefully we've learned our lessons from, from a couple of weeks ago in KL and we can put it right in the final this time. For the second straight event, the hosts are in with a chance for the plate. Can Thailand replicate Malaysia's win in KL? Stick around and find out. It's trophy time at the Thailand Sevens, the second leg of the HSBC Asian Seven Series. And first up was a shield final between India and the UAE. Good take at the top of the line out. Gives his back line a chance to get on the front foot and on the front foot they go through dugout. Good chase here from UAE though. I think it's Saeed who oh, eventually drags him down. Salim in fact, but good ball. Again, some great defense, but this time by Cyrus, who smashed in the tackle from the forthcoming players. And well-constructed try, some good rugby from both teams, particularly India. We looked for a result. We came here with the, with the intention of really putting a stamp on it and maybe moving our place in the ranking of a a further step up but maybe unfortunately we weren't able to do that but nevertheless we head back with silverware and that's always a pleasure while india celebrated two teams with higher aspirations china and chinese taipei had to settle for a clash in the bowl final here's pei Xinjin, and it's outside of kui and uh, there's gaps in midfield here too. Wu Daofeng slips a nice ball to Lee and gets the ball back, Wu. And some nice play, interplay there with the China team under the post, so this should be evening it up. <laughs> nice touch off your camera there. China want to restart quickly. And uh, yeah, it's Pei from tai Taipei who was uh, penalized. Ah, oh, some good quick action here. Man off the bench is Wang Tinghua and uh, showed a clean pair of heels on his way to the try line so the Chinese Taipei of it is just crumbling a little here 14 to 7 up at half time and now a try another try into the post to China
年轻队员过来了，所以打成这个，这个效果我也算是比较满意。So a China side that was still not at full strength jumped up two slots from their finish in Malaysia three weeks ago with a win over rivals Chinese Taipei. In the plate final, the hosts were looking for a top five finish in their home tournament versus an unpredictable Philippines. Philippines on attack again, Jones. Oh, that's a lovely break for Holgate. Who really is one of their stars, Gareth Holgate, the man who's played professional rugby in Italy and Japan. They've got some space and they've certainly got some pace outside. Dragged down there, Apachai. Good defence from the Philippines, but Thailand continue with their attack. Oh, it's a great straight run here. I think it's Chandanai. Let's just get a look on his number with a big looping dive. The judges' marks are eight for the dive and five points for the try. In fact, it's Nutanong who always sets the crowd alight when he gets a try. Good speed. The Philippines going to attack again. It's Holgate. Can he get the ball out to Morris? He does. And Morris goes over in the arms of uh, Kumquat. But he scores the try. Pretty tough final, to be fair. I think uh, they got off for the first score. And um, it was it was such a close game the whole the whole time, and uh, we had one of the players sent off, so we down six men in the sevens game. You know it's going to prove difficult, but um, yeah, we stuck to our structures and yeah, we pulled through luckily. And uh, I missed quite a few kicks, so luckily that ended up costing us. So. The Philippines improved on their performance in Malaysia with a win in the plate final, and earned eight ranking points in the process. In the third fourth place playoff, Korea and Sri Lanka met in a rematch of the Malaysia sevens consolation final. There's a Leonaga who's come on at half time. And here's Soria Bandara. Oh, once he steps on the gas, he finds it easy to just zoom away. He's like a pocket rocket, Sui. And so a good start to the second half for Sri Lanka. Gets the tap back. Oh, good work. I think that's Leonage. It was, uh, yeah, it was Leonage. Some desperate defence from the Koreans. Oh, the Sri Lankans play on. Good work on their feet. Oh, nice quick turnover ball there. And just taking the line out quickly. I think it's Herath following up well. He's virtually played every minute of this game. Herath, he's played on. Now, Sri Lanka with a chance of their own. Play broke down and the Koreans slow to get back. Eventually, Jiong gets back, but uh, Sri Lankans have got support. Susantha running on the shoulder there. And he got the first try of the match. And he'll get a second. He's just winding the clock down. We were mentally prepared for that game. So we were the like, first time in Sri Lankan history we came uh, third. So it's a big achievement for us. When we return, cup final action between Hong Kong and Japan. Stay with us. Nine matches in the bag, we return to the IPE Stadium in Chomburi, Thailand for one last match, a repeat of the Malaysia Sevens Cup final between Japan and Hong Kong. Well, it's the clash we've all been waiting for from about three weeks ago, I think. <laughs> the final of the Malaysian leg was a classic. Japan coming out the victors 14 points to seven. I think we're going to see a real good uh, forward contest here. Nice short kick gone long there. Well done. Well done, Hong Kong, to secure that because that could have been anyone's here. It's the final of the cup. And Hong Kong are away. They're really sucked up for this game. Aaron Littlewood is the referee. And this is the start any team wants. You know, you just need to start well. So um, whoever can get on the board quickly could be the, could be the key factor going forward. 
Oh, he's kicked that too long, Hood. They're going to have to come back. Rafe Morrison showing some strength and power. McQueen to Hewson, who was very impressive in the game against Korea, matching the Koreans' physicality. So just retaining possession. Here's Vati. What's he got? Runs around the outside of Lameki, but Lameki eventually gets in and he's managed to hold on to the ball there. Hewson, who knows only one way, and that's forward. Ito with a good loads. tackle. Oh. Offloads. Yes, it's Tom McQueen. And Hong Kong have gone over for the first try of the match. What a great little facet of play there. I think the Japanese thought they were going to be going wide again, but Houston picked it up from the base of that ruck. And, and uh, great support by Tom McQueen. Yeah, he could sense as soon as uh, Houston took off, he needed to be on the shoulder, and away he went. And good work from Varty there too, testing Lamicki's defensive skills. He eventually dragged him down, but boy, it got Hong Kong on the front foot well and truly. That's Tom McQueen's eighth try of the tournament. Yeah, I spoke to uh, Trevor Gregory from Hong Kong down uh, downstairs and kicks unconverted, and he said that uh, whoever starts well on the points is uh, going to be uh, a good way moving forward. So here's the replay there. Houston actually did a little bit of a shimmy dummy. Took a little bit of leg power and great work by Tom McQueen to be off his shoulder. Jamie Hood, restarting play. Nice yeah. kick. Yeah, Jones is underneath it, gives it to Varty. They're really psyched up here, Hong Kong, aren't they? Oh, Houston loses the ball. They might have been punched out by Takiri. Oh, oh no, and uh, Alex McQueen picks up the loose ball and away they go for the second try. Well, Japan have got hands on hips and aren't happy. But uh, this is exactly what they did to Sri Lanka. They hit them hard and handsome early on, and now Japan are under the cosh with Hood with his second conversion chance, this time in front of the posts. Doesn't Whoa, make any... deja vu again um, with uh, Yusin from that ruck. You might see it in the replay here. Just took it off there. Yep, punched out from Takiri there. So play on, and, and then, yeah, young uh, Amac decides to pick it up and underneath the post for another five pointer. So well done. Good reaction by Hong Kong. Yeah, no, you could see it there, and good call from the referee. It's not often that you get a call like that where a player carrying the ball seems to lose it, but it was spot on. To Kerry put his mitt in there and pushed it out. Here's to Kerry now, he goes up for the ball, but he's beaten to it by the try scorer McQueen, who's knocked it on. And this is good play from Hong Kong. Sakai throws a big looping pass to Lameki, who decides to chip and chase. It's Alex McQueen who got his body on the ball. Here's Tukiri. Good defense again from Hong Kong. They're getting back in numbers. But Lameki picks it up. Oh, well, he's uh, not played advantage there, the referee. Lameki was halfway onto the try line, so Tukiri takes it forward. Oh, breaks down here. Hood tries to get a foot to the ball. So Japan are ruffled, aren't they? You can just feel... A little bit of tension, and I would have been unhappy there if I was a Japanese player. Little would blasting for the penalty while Lameki was halfway towards the line there. Yeah. So composed here at scrum time. Perfect ball on a plate to Hood. We see so many teams struggle now. Littlewood's given a penalty away offside. The runners in front of the kick. Yeah, look, pretty much uh, Tom McQueen was in front, but a great option there from from uh, Jamie Hood. I think that Tom would have uh, gone all the way if he was behind, but uh, yeah, just can't afford to let the Japanese back into the game here. But let's see what the Japanese, this is the time where they really need to put it on, uh, put the uh, the pressure on, phase after phase, don't panic. Here's Suzuki, It'll be a set move. Sakai's there, first receiver. Suzuki decides to go himself, draw the defense. Had Matsunobu with him. Oh, now it's a penalty against Japan. Referee really featuring here, holding on, says uh, referee Littlewood to, to Suzuki. Great work by both Nick Houston and Tom McQueen there on the tackle and the man over the top. So, yeah, been working very well together. The uh, Justin, Justin Pears, great time to finish the half there, Mike. Well, the half that Hong Kong can put their hand up and rightfully claim is their own. Two tries, one of them converted, and they really rattled this Japanese team, number one seeds for the tournament. So good work. There's the young Rafe Morrison, Jamie Hood. 
They've all had a part to play. There have been errors, but uh, they've got two tries on the board and they really have ruffled the feathers of this Brave Blossoms Japanese team. It's 12-0 at halftime. We're going to take a break. Second half action from the final of the Thailand Sevens when we return. Down 12-0 at half-time in the finals of the Thailand Sevens, Japan will once again need a second-half comeback if they hope to win their second successive HSBC Asian Sevens Series event. Looks like Japan have got this one. Oh, Sakai gets a nasty hit off the ball from Alex McQueen. Lameki. Can he step his way to success? No, well wrapped up there from Hong Kong. Now there's some front football for Japan. Lemeki, wobbly little pass there to Sakai, who's stationed himself on the wing. Good step from him, so he's got two on one here. It's Suzuki, and he don't, they don't want him to go into the post, but he will, he's looping around. They would have preferred to station him out there on the corner flag to give him the try, but, uh, well, it's about time for some subs by the looks on the Hong Kong team. Yeah, you notice that the uh, conversion is successful. You notice the Japanese just decided to take a little bit more route one, suck in a few more defenders before they went out wide. And, and uh, as you can see here, they're great ball skills and you just see a sheer pace that uh, old uh, Rafe just couldn't quite get there to cover. And, and even uh, Tom McQueen to shut it down underneath the post there. This is going to be an interesting call here. Yeah. Uh, whether it's no shoulder arms, or not. Yeah. So. Win in the arms in that smash. Lee Jones. McQueen wants to put pressure on at the line out. Short ball. Suzuki to Sakai. Here's Lameki. And Vati's equal to the occasion. Wraps him up nicely. Japan, though, with three on two outside, but Vati quickly to his feet, evens it up. Good handoff from Japan. The strength and fitness may be coming through in the last couple of minutes here. Another penalty as Hong Kong try to slow the ball down. It's Sakai, wanted to take it quickly. Oh, the crowd are not happy either. Sakai regains his composure and gets it to Takeri. Here's Lameki, finding some space for Lameki. Oh, and he tackles himself 10 meters out. Japan urgently get it out. Suzuki, Azawa, and oh no, Ito. Ito's knocked it on. All he had to do was grasp the ball and dive over the line. And there's a chance gone bigging for Japan. What a lucky go. Get away, Carter, out of that one there for Hong Kong. So, so Henry also, with those dancing feet of his. Sakai gets it to Lameki, who's on this open side wing. He's got numbers and he chooses Harada. Watch this man, he's lightning. They wrap him up well and they've held him off the ground too. Oh no, in from the side, says the referee. What a cliffhanger we've got on our hands here in the Thailand League final of the HSBC Asian 7 Series. Hong Kong quickly out to a 12-0 lead. And Japan slowly chipping it away, 12-7, with just a few moments left. It's Sakai who gets the ball. Out to Henry, who will take on Vati. Inside ball here for Lameki, who's on the wing now. Oh, that's a spiraling pass. Did it go forward? No, says the referee. And yes. no, the touch says the referee. It back. Yes, well, I think it might have been too. Ozawa. And it's the way that it spiraled too. The side of the buddy he passed from that gave it away. Solid scrum from Hong Kong. And uh, Alex McQueen decides to get Yu Kam Shing to chase. He's put it out. So Henry, quickly with the ball. Sloppy from Japan, but Takiri, he stepped up for this final. Takiri's played a big role. Henry again with Vati. Vati, so determined. Like a limpet, here's Lameki, finally gets some speed up to Kiri, who's in the right place at the right time. Henry, oh, there's a line-up here for Japan. 
Have they mucked it up again? It's Matsunobu out to Azawa. Rafe Morrison tries his best. Oh, he stretches out. Azawa scored in the corner. Try to Japan, conversion to come. We have a tight game. And unless Lameki or Sakai can get this ball over, we're going to have some extra time on our hands. Well, this Sakai, he's got a cool head on his shoulders. So this might be the end of the game if he slots this. Oh, no, it's just dipped away to the left. And the crowd are loving this. We're tied at 12 all. Alex McQueen decides to get it out wide to Yu Kam Shing. Oh, it's a good aggressive tackle on the wing there from Lemeki. Alex McQueen here, who decides to go himself. Amac, has he got the pace to get around Harada? No, he doesn't. Brave tackle from Harada. Leong, good linking from him. On the left wing now, Woodward. Thought about going himself, spins in the tackle. Support from Yu Kam Shing, who gets over the top. Bit of slowing, oh, I don't know about that. A lot of hands in the ruck there. Referee was on the spot though. So unlucky. <laughs> oh well, the Japanese are happy to just kick it out and go to the end of regular time all tied up. What an exciting game we've had so far. What a great score and Hong Kong's been in this situation many times in the last grasp by the Japanese to take either the lead, the victory, but now it's a draw. So we go into Golden Point Mike. Up he goes for it. Oh, he could play Australian rules well with catches like that. Woodward to Rimine, who takes on Sakai, waiting for his support, goes to ground. Good skills. Here's Yu Kam Shing, who needs to show some pace, bashes his way up. Woodward's there to try and collect the ball. He gets it eventually. It's Rimini to Simon Leong. Crashes up. Woodward again. He's got two options. Decides to go up the centre himself. Has some support there. Rimini. Oh no, Varty's knocked it on. And Lemeki's on to another flash. Matsunobu. Can the guy get him? He's dragged him down. Well done. Rafe Morrison again. Oh, but they're over. Smashes and crashes. It's Lemeki again. Lemeki is the nemesis of Hong Kong for the second final in a row. He's taken victory from the jaws of defeat. Lamano Lemeki. The crowd go berserk. Japan makes it two wins from two events and remains top of the table on maximum points. Sri Lanka even things up with Korea, but both sides lose ground in the race for Hong Kong Sevens qualification. At the midway point of the HSBC Asian Seven Series, it's now Japan's title to lose. Lemeka's 11 tries set the pace and keyed another strong showing from Japan. His 89 points from two events is also tops as the series heads for India next month. That's going to do it for us. Be sure and join us next time from Mumbai.